hey guys all right so this particular wig comes from the company by the name of tanache here's some things that comes in the bag it comes with a mirror and also a wig cap i don't particularly particularly use those kind but if you do it comes with that so the wig comes in a bag like this and it did have like a net around it that's the inside it does have an adjustable cap and it does have quite a bit of combs inside it doesn't have an elastic band so if you'd like to put one in there you'd have to you know get one and put your own inside so this is what the wig looks like uh, well as far as the parting space you get really really good parting space the knots are not bleached as you guys can see so I'm just going to go in and put makeup on my knots all right i just use a regular face uh face powder and just face makeup whatever matches my skin it is pre-plucked and it does come with these little baby hairs so you guys know the routine pretty much i always go in and pluck the hairline to my liking i like to do it with the wig on because i just feel like i get more of um i could you know i get more of like my head shape and my hairline so yeah i'm just going through with that and i'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and then we'll start styling hey guys welcome back to my channel so you guys have already seen me style this wig i'm not quite sure the exact like name or texture i'm not sure if this is body wave i'm not sure if this is natural wave water wave but i would have all the specs down below i did style this wig two ways i did put this little headband on my head and i just got this from like the beauty supply store it was like a dollar and then i styled it like this in like a high bun with some chopsticks okay so the chopsticks just come from a regular chinese restaurant <laughs> they like I go to this Chinese restaurant that I love and they normally have them like on the table so I just grab some and I like to put them in my hair I've always liked the chopstick look some people say it's outdated and old-fashioned but I think it's cute and I've always thought it was cute especially with the buns so I just put this hair like in a high bun I did not bleach these knots or anything like that the wig did come pre-plucked with baby hairs so but i did go in and pluck a little bit more and also add some baby hair you can bleach the knots if you guys would want to i just try to keep this tutorial like very very simple all right i did go in with some makeup just like some regular face makeup i was trying to find it but here it is i just went in with like some regular this is bare minerals whatever you have that you're not like using anymore i just went in with that and some powder on the lace and that's pretty much it and i just laid a few baby hair maybe in the future i will bleach it Nice, but right now this this looks pretty good to me it looks really good it looks really natural so this wig is super super full and it's also fully dry this is the wig like fully dry 
So the wig is 250% density and it is a, let's see, I'm looking on the bag, it is a 13 by 4. And if I didn't mention the company, this wig does come from a company by the name of Tanasha Hair. This is not my first time reviewing Tanasha Hair. I have reviewed their bundles and also wigs, okay? So the wig fits very nicely. You guys know that my head is pretty big and I have like a lot of hair. So that's what makes my head big, alright? So the wig fits really, really good. So they do have, um you know like large sizes for people who have bigger heads or or a lot of hair all right so let me pull the hair to the front all right so this is what the hair looks like to the front if it does look a little frizzy that's just because you guys know how curly hair is once you start like running your fingers through it through it and manipulating it it is gonna like grow and also get a little bit frizzy because the curls are kind of getting out of their natural like form all right so that's why that looks like that because i was messing with it and then i also had put it in this bun and i was like running my fingers through the curls so i did show you guys what i used to um actually get this look i will also leave the links down below because i have some new products that i'm actually using to get like the wet look and like this wavy type of look okay i will show you guys those products really quick here so i do use this i have been really into the um oregon oil products just because they smell really really good okay so i got this from my local dollar general and they also sell it in uh, my hair store local hair store too so it looks like that and it is called strength and shine leave-in conditioner so it looks like this and it smells super super good and this is the original um aragon oil and it looks like this okay so this is actually in this but yeah it's these products smell amazing i also use these products on my real hair too so i can definitely vouch for them so I just used those two and I did go in with a little bit of mousse. This is just motions mousse. Whatever mousse that you have laying around and I did go in with my spray bottle of course. Alright. So yeah guys so far the wig is um, it's pretty. I like it so far. I would give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I'm going to try to come back with an update for you guys um, probably next couple of weeks, two to three weeks, maybe like a month update to let you guys know how it's holding up because I do wear these wigs out like to work and I do go to sleep in a lot of the wigs. So I will let you guys know, like I said, how it's holding up on in that aspect. All right. So any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you on my next video.